Hmm. We're on fire here. So if you're just tuning in, we want to know what needs to be in place to improve the quality of teachers that we have and how this can impact the quality of minds in our nation. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. Maury, before we went on the break, I wanted to call you to just you know quickly throw in your question because Dr. Vera is very passionate. <laughs> if this is a question per se but earlier on dr vera was saying that we as you know as a people will have to decide or tell the government that we don't want mediocre stuff but you know that would be the the, the only way that i feel like teachers maybe communicate about what they don't want to the government is by going on strike and by doing that it is still the students who will suffer because then you'll be at home you know syllabus um things going on in the world and then you, you are just at home because your teachers are on strike so i really don't know how um we can fight this fight without not affecting you know the, the pupils or the students okay dr vera okay so, um, you see, I, I'm, I, I am a, an adjunct lecturer at the University of Lagos. So, if, if you say strike, you know that we are the one. <laughs> but there's something I want to say. If we actually boycott work and we do it well, do you know it will achieve? I mean, this is the country where we have found ourselves. Mm. Not a situation where we go on strike and um, like, like maybe some group of people just, okay, get something from it and then everybody, let's go back to work. If we continue to do that, if we continue to do that, we will achieve absolutely nothing. But if you say, I don't want to use the word strike, we cannot work. We do not have the tools, tools. to work. Please provide, let us have it. Once we have it, we will work. Now, the children that you're talking about, they have been taught strange things. Today, now, we are teaching online at the university. This is something that we were ready to do before now. Teachers are ready. Teachers are being ready to do all of these things. But if the government says we will not do it, so it is okay for a teacher, whether at, at primary, secondary, whatever level to say, provide my tools, then I will work. There are some schools now, they've done some, 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 some government training. You train teachers, you teach them ICT, you do this, you do that. Go to those schools, go to not those government parasitals. Do they have computers? Do they have internet? So sometimes we like to do things for social media, and it's so unfortunate that in the next, in the past one year, it's all, it's all, all everything social media. And so as long that. as you can quickly capture a good scene, yeah. capture some things, you come out and you say, "I have done X, Y, Z." People think, "What is the impact?" We don't Thank even, you. we don't, impact. we don't calculate or measure impact. I want we easy to, to come in. I want easy to come in, Doctor. I was, I was even mm. noting down that these cars, these SUVs, eh? Mm. How much is their salary? Four money. Do you know how much you need? Sustainability. Oh, God. Is it coming? Thank it would be better for you to give there them the money. Also, you know, there is also a saying that teachers are not born. Teachers are made. Mm. So personal development plays a huge role in, you know, curbing uh, or, uh, or producing the kind of teachers we really need in Nigeria currently. Mm. So what is the role of personal development for teachers? those that have already been in the system and those that are supposed to come into the system to, for us to have quality teachers. It, personal development, I, um, before you decide, my own personal development and your own personal development, we're both teachers. We may not need the same kind of training or exposure. Yes. So you, just can't, you can't just wake up and say, every one of us here, we're going to do X, Y, Z training. I mean, that training may not have an impact in my work. This, there, there's something I've observed. This is something I'm, I'm doing a research right now on um, children and reading. I, I started this conversation started with teachers in public schools. Hmm. You, I, I, I meet quite a number of teachers everywhere and every time. I work directly with teachers. Yeah. And you hear things like teachers in primary school cannot, um, children in primary five, six cannot, cannot read. Now, don't even, don't get shocked. Children in GSS 1, 2 cannot read. They would see the word training. You just said training now. And a child in GSS 2 in this Lagos yes. cannot read. Now, Lagos is, 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 is the abroad of Nigeria. Exactly. But we still have them here. Hmm. They cannot read. So you begin to ask yourself, with all of this training and retraining and retraining, what is wrong with the reading culture? Why are our, our primary school children not reading? Even the ones in some private schools have learned how to read even at age five, age four. Mm -hmm. 
Then you see a child in the primary school who cannot be. So we have to begin to check. What is the training need of those teachers? Mm -hmm. Do they know how to teach children how to read? Right. Don't assume that because you're a mathematics teacher mm -hmm. or because you studied English education, then you can teach children how to read. Mm -hmm. There are skills, there are phonic skills that teachers who help children read have. So what training are we giving to these teachers? Mm -hmm. Is it by just putting things on the internet, um, on, on, on technology for them, or just teaching them how to dance or how, how to class control and all that? These are important training. Mm -hmm. But some of them already have all of this in place. But we have a problem. So when you want to do training or professional development, for us not to do the showmanship thing, you need to find out the training need per school, per children, per, per, teacher. per, per, per area, mm -hmm. per teacher. So by the time you find the training need, you're able to design a training program mm. that will meet the need. Mm. It okay. might not be interesting when you put it on social media. Mm. It might not have the, but it will have the impact. Yes. So Thank the children you, Dr. Vera. don't learn to read, and we have the problem we have now, where we have senior, um, junior secondary school children who cannot read. Mm. Exactly. Let's take some so comments from our audience. Mm. Okay, so Mori, you have some. Let me quickly read one from Larry from Ogba. I'm just sad. If we don't prioritize quality teacher training, then we should not expect better minds in our society. Thank you so much, Larry. It's actually very sad. You know, it's very sad. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, very heartbreaking. Maury, you have a comment with you. So, let me take one more before we wait for Maury. Lagos State appreciation of teachers is commendable. How bright is the future of a teacher at the end of his career? Can they own a home? What is their pension? Pen you know? For teachers, some, well, <laughs> take your comments. Places, teachers are still being owed salaries. Yeah, take your what comments. Are we talking Easy. about then, Mori, if you are there, Let's take your comments. Gratuity. Okay, um, this, um, the, this, there is, there is no name here, and it says Shell NNPCs will continue to attract the best minds due to their welfare. Without strong welfare structure that means the best in the country and the world, the profession will attract the best. Will never, never sorry, will yes. never attract the best. Its basic principle, the foundation needs to be addressed to assure the future of the teachers and their commitment. commitment. Maury, are you there? A, that is essential. Commitment is key. Because if I'm not motivated, why would I be committed to mm. teach? Mm. Maury, are you there? Or did we lose Maury? Okay, let me take her comment. It says, even farmers operate a basic principle. They preserve the best seeds and ensure that they are well protected for the next season food production. You understand? Yeah. They preserve the best seeds. Mm -hmm. Now, as humans, what actions are we taking to protect teachers mm -hmm. that are custodians of the well-being and the quality of the next generation, generation. of humans? Now, what are, what are we really doing now to enable them help nurture and preserve the quality of the next generation? That's from Absolutely. Benson in Lagos. You see, these are pertinent questions. You see, like somebody, for us on Waze, we're not, we not phased. We're not moved. Yes, it's a commendable gesture. Ah, he bought SUVs and all of that. But we sat down to think about it, really. There is a big problem with our educational structure in Nigeria. Hmm. Buying of cars to a teacher is almost like telling us, shut your mouth. You understand? We're doing something. There are bigger issues. And I loved what you said, Dr. Vera, about teacher's estate. Now, imagine if you say, you know what? This estate, look at, we have high rise. You know when you were saying it, Dr. Vera? What was in my head is all those abandoned buildings in Ikoi. What stops yeah. the government from saying, you know what, convert all these high rise buildings and give it to teachers. Let our public teachers be respected. Imagine you hear a teacher is living in Ikoi. Do you understand? Or whatever. These are things that they will never, never afford with their salaries. But because of that pride that they are the future of our next generation, we will give them houses, we will give them healthcare, we will give them this, we will give them that. Tell me, even me, I will resign from ways. I want that teaching. <laughs> I study physics. I will, I will do education as a, what's it called, diploma. Uh, and I will start teaching. I will, re oh. I will leave this work and go and teach. Right? So tell me, Dr. Vera, what are the solutions that the government should be thinking of? Don't be buying cars. We have said one already. This estate thing, it works. And I'll oh. tell you, yeah, there's an estate called Unilag Estate in somewhere around Magodo. Yeah. It was a vice chancellor of the University of Lagos who bought lands at the time. 
You see professors retiring to that place. That person has to ask a very pertinent question. Where are teachers retiring to? Mm. Exactly. Teachers cannot even afford to pay their house rent. rent. So please, if the government can look for ways of building estates for teachers, let it be around where they work. There are places, they have, they have properties, um, landed pro land, lands in Nigeria, in Lagos. Let's, uh, Lagos is a case study, that we can build this and start something for them. So at the end of the day, a teacher is comfortable not thinking about accommodation issues and then transport. Now, in such estates, there might be transport services that will move them to their schools. So you see that from the problem of transportation and accommodation has gone, then looking at the work conditions, have you seen some classrooms? Uh -uh. Have you seen some classrooms? Even the TRCN offices, have you been there? So somebody is asking me, how do we want to make this profession noble? When even the, 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 the body, the, the buildings, the classrooms, the staff room is nothing to write home about. You see teachers bringing their own, I'm, I'm not speaking just for primary and secondary. I'm even talking about the tertiary institutions. Mm. You see teachers buying their chair or buy chairs. Where you work, the chair you are sitting on ways. <laughs> Who bought it? Did you buy with the money? But I can assure you, there are several teachers in Nigeria today, especially at the tertiary level, who buy this property by themselves. They buy chairs for themselves. They buy tables. They buy computers. I do not, I do not, I'm, I, when I was in the classroom, I bought computers by myself. It's fine. But I could afford it, or probably my husband could support it. But we're talking about, look at, look at the, 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 the statistics you gave us. I know teachers, Lagos State teachers, who earn 68,000, 75,000 naira. They have families, three children, two children, as the case may be. So would you now tell me it will be easy and convenient for me to take out 450,000 or 180,000 to buy a laptop to teach? So even though I, I like, I, I, when I talk to teachers, I always tell teachers personal development, buy things, because I did all of those things. I could do those things because of what I had in mind That's and because easy. I could afford it. But easy. if the ones the ones we have cannot even afford to feed themselves, they are being owed salary. You said that, and that is the truth. Yes. May I also let you know that there are some states in Nigeria who teachers would be on on a particular level and they earn a step lower than the level they are on. Hmm. So these teachers and they won't say anything because who wants to lose is our job. Oh, exactly. You know, Doctor Vera. Money I can I can get. Let me just be getting it, and that 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 has a way of affecting the mindset of a teacher, the psyche of it. So we need to begin to work on so many things that we have said on this show and many other things that people have, have, have added as their contributions. Mm. It's important. Healthcare system. You will tell teachers you we are, we are collecting this, a part of your salary for your healthcare. Having done that. You will now, this teacher will now go to um, the a hospital, maybe a general hospital, and they would, you will tell the teacher there is no bed for you. Hmm. Teachers have psychological issues. Teacher, teachers have um, um, had issues with mental health, hmm. and there is nobody to support them. You will hear that, oh, there's a proper body in, in check. We're trying to do this. But have you tried to speak with teachers? Maybe you should begin to interview teachers one-on-one. -on -one. If you do research on teachers, you will find that many of the things that you hear are not done for them. Totally. So you see teachers who don't even know where to get health care from mm. for themselves, not even their families. But in other organizations, you have health care for you as the staff and for at least four members of your family. But as a teacher, you go into the health center or the, the, the general um, the where, 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 wherever, is, and there is nothing, there is even Dr. no paracetamol to give to you. Dr. Vera, so this it's is important. sad. We, we need to look at health care accommodation, mm. transport, mm. if this can be taken off or subsidized, let's even remove the increment of salaries first. Mm. You don't but even need to, you salary. see, as, uh, for me, mm. eh, you don't even need to increase my salary if you are sorting out my accommodation. Primary. Look at what you said. In Nigeria, it's not Primary even, needs. imagine me earning 68,000 and I have to pay an annual, uh, annual rent. Oh. Mm. I'm not paying rent monthly. I have monthly. to pay an annual yeah. rent. You have to, so if you take mm. care of my accommodation, you take care of my transportation, you understand? And let, that, let us start having a system where teachers are in a region. So, for instance, if your school is in Ikoi, mm -hmm. you should be able to live within Ikoi. So, you don't have to, you don't have to live in Iyanopaja and be driving all the way to Ikoi to go and teach. So, you should be able to, um, what's it called, create those pockets of estates for teachers to be able to live in. Then, in that estate, right, the supermarket in that estate will be subsidized. 
So that that's any teacher that presents their ID card, they will say, you know what, food items will be at a subsidized rate that is paid mm -hmm. for by the... So by the time you take up all those extra costs on the teacher, the teacher will be happy doing the job and the teacher will not have to committed. worry. So they will be more committed to the job, which is to... Mm -hmm. Because teachers are the lifeline of the mm -hmm. nation. Is this why maybe Nigeria is failing? This is why Nigeria, because a lot of minds that we are having today is nothing to write home about because the teachers that the are supposed to be impacting yes. the minds of these people do not mm. even, they are not motivated at all. They don't even have anything. You can't give what you do not have. Mom. So tell me. And some teachers, teachers, some teachers teach 105 children. How? In one classroom. How? Before COVID. Now there is COVID. These teachers, you would divide them into different classes and whatever, but the teacher still works, I mean, still does the same workload or even more. So when you, when you talk about a job, a, 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 a sector that the teachers are overburdened, that the human beings or the staff are overburdened, talk about the teaching profession hmm. in the public sector. Let me take you some comments. You have one teacher teaching... 100 people. Why? Why? How do you... Even even, there was a particular time I had to go, when, when I was um, a dean at the College of Education, I had to go for supervision in a public school. I could hardly, I could hardly walk through the classrooms. Mm -hmm. But I saw my teacher, so much passion, that is because she has exposed herself. She has come for a program like that. She's, yes. she's, she's met with people who are willing and ready. So she, she has the Mindset paradigm shift somewhere, shift. and she's also very Mindset comfortable. Yes. So you see, that teacher when 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 i got to a school i was happy and the thing is some of the teachers around them were like oh you are overdoing you are overdoing you are overdoing already you and won't that teacher. You, you won't blame them for telling her they are overdoing because don't go and burn out because if you die the government will not take care of your family that is it now That's let's it. Take, Some, let's somebody take... died in the school last Last week, she slumped. A very fantastic teacher at school. She just slumped. She, um, um, a, a colleague of mine was telling me that as she just opened her car, she slumped. And that's all. Nobody's saying anything about her. Nothing. Nobody's doing anything about her. I mean, not, not until today. Maybe someone is working on something tomorrow. But I speak as that today, nothing has been done about her. So a lot needs to be done. We need to look at ways to help these teachers. Absolutely. Because if you do this, it will help the child at the end of the day. So Let me take at the some end of comments. the day, working towards the, the Nigerian child. Let me take some comments. So look at pension uh, of government, uh, uh, workers vis-a-vis -vis pension of teachers. Oh, sorry, government, um, look at pension of government workers vis-a-vis -vis pension of teachers. A lot needs to be corrected in our society. That's Benga from Yaba. Isi, take your comments. Okay, this is from Belo, and he says, how is providing cars a good gesture? What a show of how bad our core values have become as a nation. So someone says, taking it deeper, what is the civil service income that manage the entire administration of the nation? Mm. This is the core source, um, core source the structural deformity, cause, because their case is not different. You know, civil servants now that manages the core of the entire nation. That's why you see that you will drop a file. That file will not go we nowhere not until move. you submit something. Do you understand? A lot of those people in civil service, you know, they are they're also trying to, you know, save for their future. Oh, Dr. Vera. It's a sad. It's a sad we have to beg sad you to come back again because we at this rate. Ah, <laughs> what is Are you telling me part two? We will do part 100. We will keep on talking about this thing yes. until we see people take proper actions, Action. not the one that you are going to go and be giving cars. Yes, car is good. We commend we you very well, action. the Lagos State government. Yes. We commend you. We just want you to know that there's a lot more that can, can do. be done for the quality of teachers uh, uh, for, and for their welfare. Is Dr. Vera still there? So we just have like your final um, final so, sum, uh, summary and all of that. Just sum it up in like, you know, but we have to bring you back, Dr. Vera. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed this Yeah. So, 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 it, so it, it, um, yeah. Quickly, in conclusion. We need, to, we, need to, we need to, first things first, let's readdress how we recruit people into the profession. Absolutely. Then, how we recruit people um, into the profession, into the, into the um, profession at the university level or tertiary education level. Then, how we recruit people into the profession, into the schools, mm -hmm. public and private. Mm -hmm. And then, let's begin to look for how to make life a lot um, give them a better living condition, mm -hmm. accommodation. This estate thing is not a big deal. At it all. can be done. Mm. 
transportation, it can be done. Pay them, don't deceive them. Don't 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 turn teachers as um, don't turn teachers into what do you call them political people. Part, um, you, you just you want to just manipulate them. I understand that sometimes some government go when it's close to um, election period, you see them so doing the teacher, stuff for the teachers. Body of teachers I mean, vote for them. We are not stupid people now. We are Hi. not. Dr. Vera. Please, that, 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 thank you so thank much. You. We've run out of Vera. time. Easy, thank quickly, you. in one minute. Thank I mean, thank you so what much. What can I add to my I'm doctor? You, she nothing. has said it all. I she has you. said it all. Living conditions. She has said it all. Everything. Everything in a nutshell. I think the government of Nigeria, not just of Lagos State, should wake up and smell the coffee and step up to the plate. Education, I don't know how a government, I, I don't understand. The core of a, a nation, the core. Mm. And you're not even, you're not, we're not even seeing any attempts to invest in that segment. Dr. Vera, please, we'll have to bring you back. Thank you very much <laughs> for your time today. Yeah, I enjoyed my time. You know, by the way, Dr. Vera, I, 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 I hijacked her this morning and she obliged <laughs> us. So thank you so much. Out of thank your you. busy schedule, you're able to make out time for us. Thank you. We really do appreciate thank it. You. All right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR Curbing Unemployment in Nigeria. There's a reason we have a lot of unemployed people. Education is a, like, it's a big issue. So if you're a company, please partner with us. If you're a, a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media platforms as we, um, this will be an all year round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Waze. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Teachers affect eternity. They didn't say today, tomorrow, eternity. So no one can tell where their influence stops. Let this quote sink in. Because if it truly sinks in, you will know where to invest. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation. It's our ladies' night out tomorrow. Oh. To your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>